All right, so here we have a fairly straightforward exercise compared to some of the others. So basically, um, a left rotation of an array means that you basically take the element that, is, that comes first and move it to the very end. And so if you do, like they say, two left rotations means you move one to the end here and then you move two to the end here. So you'll have the three, four, five left over and then the one that was first moved over and then the two that was next moved over. Um, so basically what we have to do is um, given a string and a number of left rotations to make, make that many left rotations. Um, and so the main thing here is that um, sort of your gut reaction might be, okay, well we just um, it's very easy to take the first element and move it to the end. So you just do that and it's easy to do that for any given list. So you just do that however many times it tells you. Um, however, um, the thing here is that these lists or yeah, these lists can be very long. They can be like 10 to the fifth. So if you try to do it one by one, it's just going to time out. Um, and even furthermore, even if you're not really worried about timing out, it's still not a very efficient way to do it. There is a much more efficient way. And the way that you come up with that is you think about it. Okay, so if you do two left rotations, then basically what you're doing is you're taking the first two elements in the list and moving to them to the end. Um, so you can really take this list and break it into two chunks. Um, you've got the first two elements and the remaining five minus two elements. And so you really only have to do one switch here. You need to identify those two um, separate lists and then you take the second one and just sort of move the first one to the other end. Um, and so how we would do that um, if we move over to Python 3. So what we want to return, and we can just do this in one line. So um, we take, so A is the list. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to have the final, um, the final part of the little, list. So, um, be, so let's see here, we have D rotations. So we want the first D elements of the list to be at the end. So at the end here, let's do it like this. So at the end, what we do is we go the zero through D elements of A and those go at the end. But then at the beginning, you have D through the length of A. So this first part is going to give you that final chunk um, that you want to come first. And the second part here gives you the initial chunk that you want at the end. Um, and the plus sign concatenates them. Um, and of course it does look a little weird um, because you've got D at the end here and D at the beginning here. Um, and so you might think, well, is that going to cause double counting? Uh, like, are, do, do you include the element in index D twice? And the answer is no, because um, remember when you go, when you're listing things in um, Python, the, ind the indices start at zero. So if you go from zero to D, that means this list is this is going to be the first D elements of A. And so the indices corresponding with those first D elements are going to be indices zero through D minus one. And then the next in index after that D minus one index is D. And so that's why it comes first here. And then you go all the way through the length of A. Um, and again, the way that you would, um, if you're at all confused about this, just try something and um, it sort of gives you the ability to run the code and test it out. And if you're off by one somewhere in your indices, 
it will give you an error and you can go and troubleshoot that on your own. So let's say that we were confused here and we put a D plus one here, we could run the code and we would see, okay, we have the wrong answer. Um, our output is one, two, three, four. Um, so here, hmm, well, there, let's see here, this isn't quite a good example. Okay, this should be a good example. So here, um, we want to do, we want to do, we want to move 10 to the end. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Um, so we want this chunk to go at the end. So it should be 77, then 97, then 58, etc., which is the expected outcome. Here, we see we actually start at the 97. So we see, so here we think, okay, well, um, this second chunk looks good because it ends with starting here at the 41, it goes all the way up to 77. And here, this is all good, except that we're missing that initial 77. So that makes us think, oh, we must be, this thing here must be one larger than it needs to be. And so we can just get rid of that and we can test it and it works. And then you just go ahead and you submit the code. And now, like I, like I was talking about, if you were to do this, like if you were to just move the indices over one by one and do a loop, then some of these test cases here would almost certainly time out. I haven't tried it, but they would probably time out because um, for some of these test cases, the um, lengths of the list are just so large that it would time out. However, if you do this, this is just one step. It's very quick, or one line of code very quick. And so it does it very quickly. Um, and so there you go. This is the very short one line solution to this problem. And that's how you do it.